Austin police are still looking for the suspects accused of stealing from a jewelry store in the Barton Creek Mall last night. We are hearing new details from people who were there when it happened. Caught in that chaos, some mistaking the shattering glass for gunshots. So Jayla Washington, you were out there today. You talked to people who were there when all of this unfolded. Yeah, Jennifer, well, keep in mind that the employees who were there last night actually had to return back to work today. So obviously very traumatic for everyone. This right here, you're taking a look at some new video from one of the employees who I spoke to who was running away herself. You can see just how horrifically chaotic this was. Everyone asking what was going on. Many wondering if they'll have to be on edge as they finish up their holiday shopping. Barton Creek Mall back open for business less than 24 hours after this. What's happening? What's happening? I didn't even have my purse. I didn't have my keys, my money. It was just like we just had to get out there as quickly as we could. Somebody was like holding their baby and running and I just keep watching the video. I'm like, oh my God, so many people are so scared. Abigail Bloss, a bartender at the Twisted Cork, is back at work today. Still haunted by this video she took on her phone and security footage from the bar's cameras. I honestly had like a breakdown thinking about it. Yeah, it feels so close to home. Police believe as many as three people smashed the glass, stealing from the Hellsburg Diamond Store and are still reviewing all security video that may help them make arrests. <laughs> Meanwhile, this situation has shaken up some shoppers, but not deterred them. The mall is like packed today, so I was like, I guess nobody else cares either. As the mall, for the most part, continues business as usual, there's still an uneasiness that lingers a big store targeted with so many people around thinking about how like how many people are looking for <laughs> gifts for their families or whatever like that like how many more robberies could there possibly be the bar owner of twisted cork has praised police for how fast they were able to respond and evacuate everyone from the mall safely right now though police are still asking anyone who may have video near or in the jewelry store to send it their way to help them find who did this? Jen. Jayla, thanks so much. We did reach out to Hellsburg Diamonds for a statement and have not heard back yet. Barton Creek Mall was open and busy today. Just days before this incident happened, we did interview an APD sergeant with the robbery unit about the same exact issue, the trend of smash and grab robberies that seem to be popping up all over the United States. Just this weekend, San Francisco announced an emergency declaration to combat their growing crime and drug problem there. The West Coast has seen a string of these types of robberies in the last few weeks. APD officials say people are definitely getting bold this time of year. I think that people are, as you said, are getting are getting brazen. And um, unless we unless we do something proactive about it, unless we start thinking outside of the box, for you know, I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, be everywhere at, at, at all times. But obviously, uh, with the help of the entire community, maybe we can kind of get a hold of some of this stuff. That officer went on to say that surveillance video for businesses certainly is the key in catching criminals. He also talked about what witnesses specifically can do to help when these types of crimes occur. We have all of that information on KXAN.com.